You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. You are. You are. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make four different treats for Valentine's Day. They're all almost completely healthy and they're really yummy. You can obviously eat them all year round, but they're pink and red and full of hearts, so they're great for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute and yummy ice cream sandwiches. For the ice cream, we're going to need two frozen sliced bananas, half a cup of frozen strawberries, two tablespoons milk, and half a teaspoon vanilla. For the cookies, we're going to need two very ripe bananas. The whiter they are, the sweeter the cookies will be. Then we need one and a half cup of oats, one third cup of peanut butter, and one four cup dark chocolate chips. First, I'm going to make the ice cream since it has to be in the freezer for a long time. Start by placing the frozen bananas, the frozen strawberries, the milk, and the vanilla in a blender. Blend until it's smooth. I added a few drops of red food coloring because I wanted the color to be more pigmented. Then put into a freezer safe container, freeze it for at least 3 hours. Now onto the cookies. Start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to mess the bananas completely. Just do it however you find the easiest. I like to put them in a Ziploc bag and just grease until they are completely messed. In a bowl, mix together the banana we just messed, the oats and the peanut butter. Put in the chocolate. And a baking sheet lined with baking paper from cookies in the shape of hearts. I wanted to make 4 ice cream sandwiches, so I had to make 8 cookies. For some reason I couldn't count to 8. Now we're going to put the cookies in the oven to bake for around 14 minutes. Let them cool off on a cooling rack. Now for the assembling of the ice cream sandwiches. Start preparing the cookies so that the shape of them will be as similar as possible. Then find a heart shaped cookie cutter that's about the same size as the cookies, maybe a little smaller. Now we're going to cut out a piece of ice cream and place it between two cookies. Then we're done with the first treat. These melted really fast, so I would recommend to put them in the freezer until right before you're going to eat them. Next, I'm going to show you how to make my fairy pink smoothie. For this, you'll need two cups frozen strawberries, one frozen sliced banana, one cup ice, one cup milk, and one tablespoon honey. To decorate it, you can use some whipped cream and some Valentine's Day sprinkles. This is obviously not healthy, but it makes it so much prettier. You're just going to start by placing all the ingredients in a blender and blend until smooth. You are the smile I can't replace You are You are The way you smile, the way you laugh, the way I can Then pour it into some cute glasses Now you can top it off with whipped cream and some sprinkles if you want to Now onto my favorite out of all these treats. For this we'll need one cup of plain Greek yogurt, some strawberries, one teaspoon vanilla, one tablespoon stevia, some pink or red food coloring, and lastly some Valentine's Day sprinkles. Start by cutting up the strawberries. This is mostly for decoration, so I just use the outside of the strawberries, because that's the most colorful part of them. Then you can eat the rest of the strawberries. Now just set the strawberries aside for later. In a bowl we're going to mix the Greek yogurt, the vanilla, the stevia and the food coloring. Then put it into a freezer safe container or into a plate. Now we're going to decorate it with the strawberries we cut up earlier and some pink Valentine's Day sprinkles. Then we need to freeze it for at least 3 hours. When it's completely frozen, we can break it into little pieces like this. The 
then just place them on a pretty plate and they're ready to be eaten. Then onto the last treat I'm going to show you today. For these hard shaped brownies, we'll need one and a half cup of dark chocolate. They need to be separated because we're not going to use them at the same time. Then we'll also need one fourth cup and two tablespoons coconut oil, three fourth cup of oats, two teaspoons vanilla, half a teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon baking soda, half a cup coconut sugar. You can just use another kind of sugar if you don't have coconut sugar. The last of the brownies will need one cup of plain Greek yogurt. You obviously don't have to put frosting on your brownies, but if you want to, then here's a recipe for almost completely healthy cream cheese frosting. You need one full cup and three tablespoons low-fat cream cheese, one full cup and two tablespoons plain Greek yogurt, two teaspoons stevia, half a teaspoon vanilla, some pink or red food coloring, and if you want to, you can add some Valentine's Day sprinkles. Start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Then place one cup of the chocolate in a bowl. Heat up the coconut oil and pour it over the chocolate. Then mix it together until the chocolate has melted. In another bowl, mix together the Greek yogurt, the coconut sugar, the vanilla, the salt and the baking soda. Now pour in the chocolate mixture and mix together. Then set the ball aside. Now we're going to make oat flour. Just blend the oats in a blender and that's it. When it looks like flour, we can pour it into the cake batter and mix it in. Then we're going to fold in the last half cup of chocolate. Now we're just going to pour it into a small cake pan. I forgot to grease mine, but I recommend to do that just to be safe. The batter is really thick, so we need to spread it out in an even layer. I I mean, I then put it in the oven. The recipe said to bake it for 30 minutes, but I ended up leaving it in for almost an hour before it was done. While the brownie is in the oven, we're going to make the frosting. Just mix together all the ingredients except for the food color. When you're done, you can add the food coloring. When you like the color, you can put it into a piping bag or a plastic bag. If your cake isn't ready to be frosted yet, you can just keep the frosting in the fridge until it's done. When the cake is completely cold, we have to decide what size we want our hearts to be. Then cut out as many hearts as possible. Now it's time for the fun part, decorating. Just decorate them however you'd like. I just made different Valentine's Day shapes. If you want to add sprinkles, now's the time. And now we're done with the last read. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day. No matter if you're going to celebrate it with someone or if you're going to stay at home watching Valentine's Day movies like me. But thanks for watching. Bye!